Things. Today marks one week since the mass shooting at Michigan State University. Three students were killed. Five others are hurt. And here at home, the University of Toledo campus showing its support. Students and faculty holding a candlelight vigil honoring the victims of that shooting. They also say it's to show support for students who returned to class today. Kaylee Kirby is live tonight. And Kaylee, a lot of people showed up for this UT vigil. That's right, Melissa and Jeff. More than 100 people came out to stand in solidarity with Michigan State University students. Organizers say they realize it could have happened to them. A lot of people are just so numb to what's happening all over the country. An emotional There's night at the, the University of Toledo. Events like this, they kind of open your eyes to, you know, something could happen anywhere, whether you're on college campus, whether you're going to a concert, like it's just kind of part of our world now. Student body president Colleen Palmer says it's not fair but it's become something students have to be prepared for. You have your thoughts and prayers, you have, you know, everyone forgets, the cycle continues. And honestly, I'm tired of it. For some UT students, the last week hit closer to home. Junior Greta Faubert was friends with Alexandria Werner, one of the victims in the mass shooting. But she knew her as Alex, a close friend and then a teammate on her high school softball team. She was always my role model. She was a leader in everything she did. And um, we were able to graduate together. And I just have so many good memories. She never imagined she would lose her friend to a mass shooting. Al, I miss you and I love you. Let's hit dingers and get ice cream from the Dario the next time I see you. She says Alex had such an impact on her life and is sad other people won't be able to know what an amazing person she was. She just was such a bright light, not one that's like the center of attention, like flashy or anything like that, but I would say more comforting light, like very bright. She had such an amazing future ahead of her. Now, the organizers want students to know if they are struggling, there are resources and counselors available. They say there's also programs at UT like Night Watch, where someone will walk you to your dorm or your car if you ever feel unsafe. In studio tonight, Kaylee Kirby, WTOL 11.